Bartholomew, do you like books about depressed young men? If so, you'll like The Catcher in the Rye by J.D. Salinger, which I'm going to read you the first page of, whether you like it or not. The Catcher in the Rye by J.D. Salinger, dedicated to my mother. Not my mother. Salinger's mother. Probably. Chapter 1. If you really want to hear about it, the first thing you'll probably want to know is where I was born, and what my lousy childhood was like, and how my parents were occupied and all before they had me, and all that David Copperfield kind of crap. But I don't feel like going into it, if you want to know the truth. In the first place, that stuff bores me, and in the second place, my parents would have about two hemorrhages apiece if I told anything pretty personal about them. They're quite touchy about anything like that, especially my father. They're nice and all. I'm not saying that, but they're also touchy as hell. Besides, I'm not going to tell you my whole autobiography or anything. I'll just tell you about this madman stuff that happened to me around last Christmas, just before I got pretty run down, and had to come out here and take it easy. I mean, that's all I told DB about, and he's my brother and all. He's in Hollywood. That isn't too far from this crummy place, and he comes over and visits me practically every weekend. He's going to drive me home when I go home next month, maybe. He just got a Jaguar. One of those little English jobs that can do around 200 miles an hour. It cost him damn near 4,000 bucks. He's got a lot of dough now. He didn't used to. He used to be just a regular writer when he was home. He wrote this terrific book of short stories, The Secret Goldfish, in case you never heard of him. The best one in it was The Secret Goldfish. It was about this little kid that wouldn't let anybody look at his goldfish because he'd bought it with his own money. It killed me. Now he's out in Hollywood, DB, being a prostitute. If there's one thing I hate, it's the movies. Don't even mention them to me.